Hi guys, it's Book Western, and today I'm going to read this book, Pocket Money, Oxford Reading Tree. Dad wanted a meeting. I have a good idea, she said. Chip groaned. I don't like the sound of this, he said. Dad had a big piece of paper. I don't like the look of it either, said Biff. It's no fun on holiday if Mum and I do all the work. That's true, said Mum. There are still lots of jobs to be done. This is where my idea comes in, said Dad. This is the pocket money chart. Biff, Chip, and Kipper looked at the chart. It had their names on it next to a list. Of jobs, the idea is that everyone has to help," said Dad. "It's brilliant, but why is it called a pocket money chart?" asked Kipper. Dad tapped the chart. "If you do the jobs without a fuss," he said, "you get extra pocket money." Mom liked the idea. You need extra pocket money on holiday," she said. "I suppose so," said Biff. So Biff washed up and Kipper dried. Chip took Floppy for a walk. Dad blew up the beds with a pump. "I like the idea of this pocket money chart," said Mom. "I don't," said Kipper. The next day, they went to the beach. It was cold and windy, so nobody wanted to sit on the sand. Mom and Kipper played with Floppy. He chased a chased a ball into the sea. Biff, Chip, and Dad went to look for shells. Biff looked along the beach for shells. She picked up a strange-looking rock. Look at this! She called. It's a rock with a spiral pattern in it. She showed it to Chip. It looks like a shell made of rock, he said. You found a fossil, said Dad. Once it was a shellfish, now it has turned into a rock. They showed it to Mom. It's millions of years old, she said. Millions of years," said Biff. "That's amazing." They all began to look for fossils. Chip found a broken one. Biff liked looking for fossils. She wanted to find a really good one. It's time for supper," said Mum. "Come on, let's go back to the campsite." On the way back. They stopped at a shop. Biff, Chip, and Kipper had time to look around. The shop sold all kinds of things. It sold shells and beach toys. Kipper wanted to buy a boat. I haven't got enough pocket money, he said. Biff saw some fossils for sale. This one is amazing, she said. But it's very expensive. Well, it is millions of years old," said Chip. "I'll need the extra pocket money to afford this," said Biff. Back at camp, Biff had an idea. "I'll do everyone's jobs," she thought. I can get all the extra pocket money. She told Chip she could wash and dry the dishes. Good," said Chip. "I hate drying up." Kipper had to take Floppy for a walk around the field. He had to keep Floppy on a lead. "I'll take him if you like," Biff said to Kipper. Kipper was pleased. "That's good. I hate that job." He said. Dad saw Biff taking Floppy for his walk. What's she up to? He wondered. When Biff came back, 
He asked her why she was doing everyone's jobs. Biff went red. I want to earn all the extra pocket money, she said. I'm sorry, Biff said Dad, but I'm afraid you can't. You all have to do the jobs, not just you. But Chip and Kipper don't mind, said Biff. That's not the point," said Dad. "The idea is that we share the jobs." But I worked hard," said Biff. Biff was upset when they went to the beach the next day. "It's just not fair," she said. "I did extra jobs, but I still won't get any more money." "Come on, Biff," called Dad. "It's such a lovely day to play in the sea." Biff, Chip, and Chipper played in the sea. They had a little plastic dinghy and took turns to sit in it. It's my turn. Call, it's my turn. Called Biff. No, I'm not getting out. Said Kipper. Then we'll tip you out. <laughs> Laughed Chip. They all felt cold after they had been in the sea. That took them for a walk along the beach. Mom stayed behind. Biff began to look for fossils. If I can't buy one, maybe I can find a really good one. She thought. They came to a little rocky cove. Some people were in the cove. A camera team was doing a fashion shoot. I bet the girl is a model," said Chip. "They are taking photos for a magazine." The girl smiled at them. I'd hate to be a model," said Biff. "All you do is stand around for ages." "Just look at those cameras," said Chip. "Come on," said Kipper. "We're looking for fossils, remember?" They walked a long way, but they didn't find any good fossils. It was time for lunch, so they went back to find Mum. "We saw those people taking photographs," said Chip. After lunch, Biff and Chip went with Mom to the little rocky cove. The tide was coming in again, and the cove was filling with water. Biff pointed to something on a rock. It was a camera. The photographers must have left it behind, she said. It will soon be other wa- underwater," said Chip. "You could swim across and get it," said Chip. "But I'm not a very good swimmer," said Mom. I might drop it. Dun 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 dun, da 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 da. Biff had an idea. The dinghy has a long rope. I could paddle across quite safely, she said. Mom thought about this. Well, go and see what Dad thinks, she said. But hurry up, said Jeb, or it'll be too late. Biff ran to ask Dad. When he saw the camera, he agreed to let Biff rescue it in the dinghy. Just be careful, Biff," called Mom. "It's all right," said Biff. "But look at the camera. It's going to be underwater any second." Biff got to the camera just in time. She put it in a plastic bag, and Dad put pulled the dinghy safely back. Hooray! Said Kipper. The camera is safe. Biff to the rescue! Laughed Biff. At that moment, the photographer ran up. Have you seen the camera? She asked. I left one behind in the cove. Biff held up the plastic bag. Here it is, she said. I've just rescued it in the dinghy. The photographer was pleased. Cameras like these are expensive," she said. "I'm so glad to get it back." She took a photograph of everyone to say thank you. "Will we be in a magazine?" asked Kipper. Then the photographer wanted to give Biff some money. "It's a reward for saving my camera," she said. Biff said she couldn't take the money. "I'm just pleased you got your camera back safely," she said. Biff Kipper was cross with Biff. Why didn't you take that money? She asked. I would have. Chip looked thoughtful. I'm not sure what I would have done. He said. 
Dad smiled at Biff. I'm very proud of you, Biff. I think you were right not to take the money. Agreed, Mom. If you do someone a good turn, you shouldn't expect to get a reward. The next day, Dad gave Biff, Chip, and Chipper some extra pocket money. May we do what we like with it? Asked Chip. Of course you can," said Dad. "Then we'll give it to Biff," said Chipper. So Biff bought the fossil he she wanted so badly. Ding ding, ba 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 ba, ding. Pocket money. The family are on a camping holiday. Will Dad plan to get everyone to share the job's work? Oh, or will things go wrong?